Hey guys, Vince over at CultOfAndroid.com. I'm going to show you the uh, first task I set up using um, a NFC tag or tag keychain that I got in my tag bundle from TagsForDroid.com. It's a simple task that uh, puts my phone into vibrate mode. Uh, I use it when I'm going to the doctor's office or in a movie theater or somewhere where I don't want my phone to ring. It's an easy way for me to just uh, toggle between vibrate and turning my ringer on. Now, setting these tasks up are pretty easy in the NFC Task Launcher application, which you can download from the Google Play Store. Now, the trick is if you want to toggle between tasks... Uh, you know, tap your NFC tag once to put it on vibrate, tap it again to uh, turn the ringer back on. You'll need to use the new switch, which you see right there. But first, you have to set up your tasks. So I'll show you how to set up this simple task, and then I'll, and I'll run you through the steps. I've, I've already done it, so I won't actually write it to the tag, but I will show you how you would do it. So you would do a, set a new task. You'd click on Add Action. Now for this, it would be Sounds. Oop, not Display. Sounds and Volume, and Vibrate. Now I configured it to always vibrate when touched against the NFC tag, so I would hit OK. Now when I'm done with that, well, let me just show you how it works. I would hit OK, and you can see the task content is set vibration tells you how many bytes that uh, task takes up so you know if you're filling up your NFC tag. Um, I would rename this by hitting rename up there to vibrate and then hit finish. Now you could write that straight to your tag after you click finish and then anytime you touch the tag it would set your phone to vibrate. However that would be the only task it could perform. So. That's why we would just finish it, save it, and then add a new task, which would be sounds and volume and ring type, and then normal. So I would hit OK, and then I would rename that to uh, ringer on or something, finish, and save that as well. Now I have the two tasks saved. I would go into new switch. Now to assign them, I would the first one I would assign as vibrate, and the second I would assign as ringer on. Now this way I can toggle between the two by touching the um, NFC tag. So you would hit finish and it would tell you to touch the tag, uh, place the tag against the back of the phone, and once you do that it would write it to the tag, which I already have done. So now I'll just show you how it works. So now the first thing I would do is I would just touch it to the back. You see it runs task vibrate and it puts my phone in vibrate mode. Now when I leave the theater or something and I want my ringer back on, I just touch it back and it turns my ringer on. Oh, then see, sometimes you have to hold it there for a second, not take it right off like as if like I just did. So see now there it should yep ringers back on so that's how it works it's quick it's easy it's uh, convenient it, it's a way for me to you know uh, toggle between vibrate and ringer on fairly easy and I always have my um, keychain or my keys with me and my phone so it's very convenient that's the first task and uh, I'll show you how to do a couple more tasks with uh, following videos all right. I uh, hope that uh, you know you learned a little something there about a simple silent slash vibrate task using an NFC tag or tag keychain or whatever, and an NFC enabled phone, which I'm using a Galaxy Nexus, and the app is called NFC Task Launcher. That's the app I use to write to the NFC tags. All right. All right. Take it easy.